Everything was crushed is the only answer I got. Everything was crushed. Lissandra Velez is talking about her mother, Andrea Santiago's van, that had an expensive $10,000 hydraulic wheelchair lift in it. In June, a Chicago Streets and Sanitation investigator slapped an abandoned vehicle sticker like this on it, warning Santiago, who has MS, that if not moved in seven days, it would be considered abandoned and towed. It was absolutely not abandoned. <laughs> So the family says they move the van to another spot a few feet up, but then, without any further notice, their legally parked van with a placard and plates for a person with disabilities was still taken and sold for scrap and now lies somewhere in this mangled mountain of metal. They crushed her van with her lift. With her lift. Alderman Nick Spazzato, who also has MS, says there needs to be swift changes to the city's abandoned vehicle program. You would hope people would have a little more compassion and have a half a brain to say, I can see the lift in here, I can see the handicapped place, do I really want to be towing this? It was towed by United Road Towing, which has a $60 million contract with Streets and Sanitation to handle the city's towing, booting, and auto pound management. The CBS2 investigators found they get to sell and keep the profits related to Santiago's van and thousands of other so-called abandoned vehicles. Well, talk about your abandoned vehicle policy. Abandonedness. It's just very infuriating for the city to do that with just no regards for who that vehicle might belong to is sickening. Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators.